today we are going to start an other lecture as a part of stage 1 of binder selection you know in the beginning i had told you there are three major types of distresses occurring upon the road rutting fatigue cracking and low temperature cracking now here in my previous lecture i had explained to you about this g star this compact shear modulus and the fuse angle these two parameters are determined by dsr method and these are the factors related to the rutting and fatigue crack clear it now we will now here today we will explain the which factor is responsible for the study of the rutting which relationship is used for the study of the fatigue cracking so so first of all we will explain the rutting factor it is equal to g star by sin delta this relationship has been used by sharp in super fuel specification so so we can say that it is an indicator used for rutting resistance used for rutting resistance but here i would like to tell you because as it is a part of the specification when something is part of the specification their values are always given so so we have uh, two types of the material one is the original and other one is the east so keep this thing in mind we have the two types of the material one is the original and other is the east white binder when we have this binder in the original form what should be the value of this one it is minimum value required is 1 kilo pascal and when we have gone to the east this is the short term aging here minimum value is 2.2 kilo pascal here i would like to tell you if the value is less than this one then whatever the pavement made by the material going to show the rutting behavior mean road is going to deform if the value is less than this one the road is being made by this binder content it's going to show the rutting in their future so so if the value is exceeding this one rutting will not happen if the value is exceeding this one rutting will not happen during the defined surface time so that is why the specification has given these two value now keep one thing in mind this is the factor g star by sin delta if its value is going to increase just one minute its value going to increase like you say from 1 kilo pascal up to going to the 2.2 kilo pascal if the value is going to increase it means this is more beneficial for us because this is the minimum it is exceeding this is the minimum it is exceeding it means it going to be increase that's why for uh, more description i have written increase increase mean this material is going to possess the elastic properties then going to possess elastic properties
what do we mean by this elastic properties okay that material is going to regain its original shape when material is going to regain its original shape it means that road is not going to deform this is the property required not deforming this is the property required from material or in other words we can say that going to resist against rotting so that is why this factor rotting factor is very very important to understand in the deciding the future of the road now next according to this one as i have explained it to you just now now let me tell you just for your understanding we have the original material we have rt f o t material mean aged here we have the third type of material which is polymer modified binder keep this in mind pmb polymer modified binder here i would like to tell you as compared to original here we scale sorry g star by sin delta would be less than g star by sin delta it means this material is going to possess more elastic behavior this material is considered more suitable to resist against the rotting so that is why we say that aged binder always going to possess good quality as compared to the original material next and that's why here values are also mentioned in the specification this polymer modified here i would like to tell you this polymer modified value is not mentioned in any specification but we have reached to the conclusion when uh, this uh, binder is checked in the laboratory when some analysis is done over here here we also reach to the conclusion that the value of g star by sin delta found to be increased please see this one with a polymer modified binder we have checked it at higher temperature we observed that the value of g star by sin delta found to be increased for example as i have performed the test and i have found its value exceeding the 3 kpa exceeding the 3 kpa at maximum temperature 82 celsius why 82 celsius because my material is pg 82 negative of 22 when i check this material at this te maximum temperature value is found to be exceeding 3 kilopascal So this thing shows that whenever we have the polymer modified binder, if we will check its rotting factor, if its value is exceeding all the value, it means polymer modified is also going to show the good property against the rotting. So that is why this brief introduction uh, about this rotting factor has been given to you. Although it is very boring, very difficult to understand, but if you have any query, if you have any doubt, please let me know. i will try to explain it because understanding is more important than just uh, going through it superficially thank you for seeing this video